Welcome Libras. I'm back y'all with another video. <laughs> so let's talk guys. We are in you guys' energy, Libra. Okay. So happy birthday Libras. And let's see what we got coming towards you guys for the month of October. This is a general read guys. So y'all don't have to get in the comment section. Um... You know, saying, oh, it doesn't resonate. If it doesn't resonate, let it fly. Take what bits and pieces that you can from it and keep it moving, okay? You can check your moon rising and your Venus. However, this is going to be a general read for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, okay? So you can take bits and pieces of this and apply to your life, okay? Apply to your situation. This is a general read, all right? <laughs> all right, so... um. I'm hearing the shuffle. I'm just I'm just hearing the shuffle five times. Ooh, excuse me. Okay. Libra. All right. Libras. 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 All right. At the bottom of the deck, I see you guys' energy. Yes. Yes, Empress and the Justice card. You guys, this energy all the way. Both of these cards symbolize Libra. So you guys are feeling in y'all element, okay? Y'all are feeling like feeling yourselves. Y'all are in y'all element. So let's see what we got going on. I got the Ace of Swords, the Hierophant, the Seven of Wands, the Chariot. Page of Swords, Four of Pentacles. The Star, Page of Pentacles, Hangman, and Strength. Okay. I'm, I'm seeing right off the bat, I feel like you're trying to have the courage to communicate something. Um... That you possibly have been holding back on. We got the Page of Swords here, which is, you know, someone who is a spy, okay? So you may be watching someone, you got your eyes on someone. Could be a Cancer, Taurus, Aquarius, Pisces, and Leo, okay? But let's get to it. I feel like there's clarity that needs to be gained in a situation. Um, or things can get real hectic with that Seven of Wands. Okay, why is the Ace of Swords here? Nine of Swords. Are you worried about the truth coming out? Are you worried about some type of truth being revealed? We got the half in here. Yes, yeah, see, we got the Seven of Swords, which is the Lie, Cheat, Thief card. The Tower which is something that's being revealed and is possibly being shocking or you find out you found out that someone uh was not being honest with you okay ace of pentacles um this is an opportunity okay so yeah i'm getting like there's a chance an opportunity for the truth to be revealed or somebody to come out and tell the truth and you have to you have a decision that you have to make um, the Magician and the Seven of Cups, okay? Why is the Hierophant here? The World card, okay? So, you feel like the right thing for you to do is to close this chapter? Okay? Like, you were dragging your feet, closing this chapter, but you do feel like it's the right thing for you to do. Seven of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Six of Cups. Okay. This is about something from the past. Something that was said in the past. Knight of Wands. Somebody was being a player. Maybe you played around with somebody in the past and now you're regretting it. You're regretting it with this Five of Cups. Okay. Maybe you didn't think that something would turn out the way that it did. Um... But yeah, see, with the Two of Swords and the Five of Swords, something turned out bad, okay? Um, 
Let's see what's going on. Why is the Six of Cups here? King of Wands. King of Wands is Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy, but this is very much so passionate, passionate energy. You could be dealing with the fire sign. This could be very much so sexual energy, but this person just could be so fine, like you couldn't resist. I'm getting that as well, too. I'm getting like no secret. Like you didn't. Maybe you wanted to hide this because I got the death card, the four of swords, the moon and the nine of wands is definitely someone hiding. Like maybe something was supposed to be kept a secret. Okay. And I'm getting king of swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, queen of pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, page of cups and the queen of cups. Maybe someone, maybe you thought that someone told someone and it was supposed to be a secret. I'm getting like something's being exposed. Okay, I'm getting that something is being exposed. Why is the king of wands here? The eight of swords. Okay. The emperor is someone that's older. Okay, which is someone that's older. Could be someone's father. Could be um, someone's husband. I'm just getting that there's this very uh, masculine energy that could possibly be involved. Could be an Aries. Okay. Why is the Eight of Swords here? The Hermit. Yeah. Virgo's energy. I'm getting like scared that somebody's gonna find out. Yeah, because somebody's juggling two of pentacles and a three of swords. Somebody's juggling here. King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, possibly male. This person could be very business oriented. Um, could have like lots of money, has their own business. Um and we got you guys' energy. Okay, very beautiful energy. Um, but someone here is in a relationship. Why is the page of swords here? Yeah, nine of pentacles. Um, maybe you're watching you you're watching to see if someone um i'm getting somebody is a player knight of wands like somebody behaved somebody might have said that they were single or they do what they want to do somebody's asking somebody to come to their job or asking where someone works at why is the knight of wands here Somebody is a player, for sure, for sure. Or you've been sitting back watching this person. Yeah, see, like, Ten of Pentacles. Like I said, there could be, like, money involved. I'm getting, like, this is a real sticky situation here. This is real sticky. Somebody's asking for money, okay? The Page of Wands, King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I'm getting like watch what you say or watch how you say something. But somebody is a player. Um, you've been watching somebody, like watching them and they move like they're single. Why is the four of pentacles? No, why is the chariot card here? You could be dealing with a cancer. Okay, six of wands. Like you feel like you won. You feel like you won because let me tell you something. Whoever this this emperor energy is, I feel like why is the six of wands here? Seven of cups. Okay, uh, -uh. and the lovers. Yeah, see, look, somebody here has a lot of offers. Somebody here has a lot going on. 
um, a bunch of different things going on, people that they talk to, a lot of different things. Maybe you are trying to find out the truth or trying to get clarity on a situation. Um, but somebody here is like very popular. And they got a bunch of, they got a bunch of, somebody here is, there's a big secret here. <laughs> Why is the moon card here? Could be dealing with the Cancer or Pisces. The Ten of Swords, there's betrayal here. Okay, Ten of Swords and a Three of Swords. There's could possibly even be a divorce. Someone could possibly be divorcing because of this. Um, somebody is like, I'm getting like somebody, this is, I'm getting like somebody betrayed somebody. And it could possibly be with the Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, woman here. I'm getting that somebody here is in love with the Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But there's a third party situation on, going on. Okay, why is the Ten of Swords here? Yes, look at this. The Tower, the Five of Swords. Like, if this gets out and see, look, the Seven of Swords and the Four of Cups. So, you don't want to look like you are the liar. You don't want to look, you don't want it to look like you uh, interfered with this because it looks like it could get real messy. The Tower and the Five of Swords, this is real messy. This is extremely messy. So maybe you're worried about what someone is going to say or how someone is going to feel because I feel like a situation has gotten way too out of hand. Somebody's running around here like they're just single and I don't feel like they really are. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Three of Cups and the Temperance. Lots of third party energy. But I feel like you've been keeping this to yourself. Okay. There we go again with this older person. This emperor. Why is the three of cups here? Queen of cups. Five of pentacles. Four of Wands. Okay, like I'm getting somebody got put out the home or um somebody feels rejected or like they don't fit in. And I feel like also you may be trying to keep the situation at a at a at a peace. Like you're trying to keep it balanced. But I feel like there's three people involved in this situation. Um, Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, um, Five of Pentacles, and the Four of Wands. Like somebody just doesn't fit in with the family or doesn't. I'm getting like someone got gets put put out. Why was the Four of Wands here? The Lovers and the Queen of Swords. Okay. Someone likes somebody, um, and someone's in someone's space or home. We got the lovers, Gemini energy. But, okay, we got King of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. So, this King of Pentacles needs to make a decision. Maybe you want this King of Pentacles to make a decision on who they want to be with. Queen of Swords is your energy. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And the lovers here. This is a decision between two people. You want this person, you want this king of pentacles to make a decision. Okay, you want them to choose. What's the star card here? Okay, so maybe you're hoping that, hoping that, um, cause I got the star card here, Aquarius, this energy, six of pentacles. This is about giving and sharing and, you know, 
Um, the Two of Cups here is saying, you know, bond, a connection, or, a, you know, a bond that you have with someone. Okay. Let's see why the Six of Pentacles is here. The Knight of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. This King of Pentacles keep coming up. So maybe you're hoping that this person, this, I feel like the person that you deal with, um, uh, gives you, give you gifts, um, gives you money to, in order, like, to stay together. I'm getting that as well. I have to play the pentacles here. Somebody could be giving somebody, like, hush money. I'm seeing that, too. King of, the Queen of Wands. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. This person um, views the situation. I'm getting like there's an offer, an exchange of money. Okay, an exchange of gifts or money. Knight of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. So I'm getting like someone asks for something. I'm getting that there's an exchange here between you and this person. There's an exchange of gifts, money, um, you know, just things of that nature. And the hangman, why is the hangman here? This is a mess, Libras. Um, Will of Fortune. You're just waiting for this person to make up their mind. Like you just, this situation is just kind of like in the air with the hangman. The two of pentacles is, you know, you're just waiting for this person to make up their mind. What do what do they want to do? Because I got the ace of cups and the king of swords. You're waiting on this person to make up their mind. Yeah, because look, seven of swords, there's a lot of lying and cheating. And uh, this is a scandal. This is definitely some type of scandal. Why is the strength card here? Your intuition is telling you that this person was, uh, that you, I feel like intuitively, uh, with the strength card, this is Leo's energy, but I feel like, oh, what it is, is, is that this is something that you're trying to keep a secret or keep hidden. Why is the high priestess here? The Empress. Yeah, see. You don't want someone here to know something. Four of Cups, the Emperor, King of Swords. This could be like a baby dad, baby father, or just somebody that's older. Like, you plan on talking about this later. We got King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Like, you plan on talking about this later. You plan on bringing this up later. Right now, you don't want to, um, don't want this person to know something. Or I'm getting like somebody could here even be a spiritualist with the high priestess and the empress. I'm getting like someone could be uh, trying to work magic as well. Why is the empress here? Someone's mother or baby mother could be involved. See, look, we got the mother and the father card and the king of swords here that jumped out. This could be a baby mother, baby father thing, or someone could possibly be get pregnant, okay? Um, somebody here is going to regret it's going to regret a decision later. I'm just putting this out there. I got the death card, the sun card, which is Scorpio and Leo, the devil, Capricorn, and the five of cups and the judgment card. Somebody's going to regret a decision that they made later. I'm just putting that out there. I'm just putting that out there. Somebody's going to regret a decision. I feel like this is some big scandal um, that's going on. And I'm all up in y'all tea. <laughs> I'm all up and through it. All right, so let's see what advice we have from the universe. 
What message do you have for my Libras? We got awakening, okay? Awakening, energy upgrades, a new way of being, okay? So some of you guys, I'm telling you, like, I feel like a rude awakening is going to come from this, okay? I'm not sure if it's going to be on your end or theirs, but there's a rude awakening for someone in this situation, okay? Because there could be a priestess involved. I saw the high priestess and the empress. That's someone who's very spiritual. Okay. And I saw that. There could be a priestess involved in a situation. How are you being called to step up and lead? I feel like there could be a priestess involved in this situation. Someone could be working magic. Okay. So we got the crumbling. What are you clinging on to? This is the tower card. I'm telling you. This situation. That's. That's. This situation here is not going to end. It's not going to end well. It's not going to end well. It's not. All right, we got the initiation. Uh, right of passage, crossing the threshold. See, look at this. Now, on this card, it looks like someone is in a really, really dark um, tunnel. But when they walk out of the tunnel, they've crossed over into a new dimension. Okay. Um, I feel like... <laughs> I feel like someone here definitely needs to get grounded. Okay, someone definitely needs to get grounded um, because I, I just don't see anything good coming out of a situation like this. Why is the initiation here? The Empress, okay? Like I said, um, this the Empress is revealing herself a lot. We got the Queen of Wands here at the bottom of the deck, okay? Leo, Sagittarius, Aries could be involved. Why is the Empress here? Someone could get pregnant. Like I said, look at this. Um, the Empress and the Ace of Wands. This could be a sexual partner. Okay, be very careful. Because we got the Five of Cups here. And the Judgment card. And like I said, and the Devil. Okay, someone could get... Be careful, because someone could get a STD. Um... I'm getting that. I'm I'm definitely hearing a sexually uh, STD. Okay, I'm getting hearing that as well. Someone could possibly even get pregnant, but I'm getting like somebody's going to regret a decision later. Okay, somebody's going to regret a decision later. Someone could get pregnant, or there's possibly like uh you know sexually transmitted diseases. Look at this Ace of Cups. Like I said, lots of aces here, and this Empress. That's definitely pregnancy okay a pregnancy could be involved all right why is the crumbling here the hermit virgo the crumbling is saying that look you can find better okay why is the hermit part here Queen of Swords. This is you guys' energy. Why is awakening here? See, that's what I'm telling you. The Chariot and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay? Someone's family could be involved. Um, and I got the King, the King of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But somebody's thoughts, somebody knows something. Somebody knows something, okay? See, somebody knows something. The high priestess is revealing herself a lot in this reading, okay? And this is Pisces' this energy as well as Cancer. But this is someone, someone knows, like someone thoughts. The swords here are thoughts. Eight of swords, king of swords, okay? Someone intuitively... 
um, just has a gut feeling about something. Chariot, it could be a Cancer, Ten of Pentacles. I'm getting like someone's family could be involved. See, look, Nine of Swords. And the Three of Wands. Okay, so someone's anxiously waiting. To be together. Wait till, I'm hearing, wait till we get together. The Devil and the Emperor. The Four of Cups and the Queen of Wands. So I'm hearing like, I didn't say that. King of Pentacles and the star. Why is the double here? I'm getting that this is a sexual connection. Like this is a sexual relationship that turns sour. Somebody here is a liar. Somebody here is a cheat. Um, somebody could be doing this because this person is providing them. See, look what I'm saying, nine of pentacles. Someone is providing them with gifts or giving them what they want out the deal. But I'm telling you, it's not going to end up, it's not going to be good in the end if this continues, okay? Um, Okay, like I said, she keeps revealing herself. The high priestess, okay? You need to listen to your intuition. If your intuition is telling you that you need to cut something short or deal with the situation, if you're in a situation like this, you need to deal with it. Yeah, your intuition is telling you that you need to make a decision. Two of pentacles and a seven of cups. Yeah. And the six of wands that you need to make the right decision. I'm feeling like there's been a betrayal. The ten of swords and the tower and the moon. Okay. Ooh, the moon and the five of swords. This is definitely a scandal. This is definitely something that is going all the way to the left. Okay. Someone could um, we could have given someone money. Okay. Someone was giving someone money. I'm hoping that'll kind of like stick them around. Um, but this is definitely the moon and the five of swords. This is some type of scandal, y'all. All right. So y'all let me know what's going on. If this is your situation, um, y'all don't have to comment. Leave a thumbs up. If you want to comment, let me know what's going on in the comment section below. All right, y'all, check the description box for all the info that you need. If you want to book your very own personal reading, if you'd like to order um, from the shop, if you want to follow me via social media. All right. Until next time, guys. Ciao.